Hello, everybody, and welcome back. I hope you are all feeling fine, doing well, and you're ready for more of the 2017 open paper. So we're on B1 now. First question in part B. The questions are worth a little more now, six points. And let's take a look. Andrew and Beatrice practice their three free throws in basketball. One day, they attempted a total of 105 th uh, free throws. This is going to be a fun one. Free throws, free throws, free throws uh, between them. With each person taking at least one free throw, it, uh, if Andrew made exactly one-third of his free throws, uh, th free throw attempts, my mistake, and Beatrice made exactly three-fifths of her attempts, what is the highest number of successful free throws that they could have made between them? The highest number. And each person made at least one. At least one free throw. Okay. So really what we want to do is, so to maximize... Uh, we want the largest number of possible attempts. So the maximize, we want the most successful of Andrew and Beatrice to throw the most balls. Or most throws, I guess. Okay, so that's our challenge. So who's the most successful? Well, one-third is definitely less than three-fifths. If you don't believe me, multiply both sides by 15. Okay, 15, 5 is less than or 9. And so since we got this equation right, the one we must have started with was right. Okay, because uh, multiplying by 15 wouldn't change the sign or anything. So Beatrice is the better player. So we want her to have the most throws, the most free throws. Uh, so we could, if we misread the question, have her do all 105, and then she makes um, 21 times 3, 63 throws. So 63 successes when she does her free throws. But that would leave zero for Andrew, and each person makes at least one. So that is the problem. So that would, that would leave, so that would be B. And then A would it be zero, and you'd make a third of those, which would be zero. But unfortunately, he has to make at least one. And there's the problem. So could could Andrew make just one? Well, no, because one times a third would be one third. So he makes one third of a successful three th free throw. I don't think so. And and what would that leave for Beatrice? She'd have one hundred and four free uh, free throws. And she'd make three-fifths of those. That's not an integer either. So the, que the problem becomes a little more tricky. Okay, In order for three out of five times you know, Beatrice's free throws, which we'll call B, uh, to be an integer, five needs to divide B. And that leaves 105 minus B for Andrew. And if, if one-third of that is going to be an integer... And that implies 3 divides 105 minus b. Well, 3 divides 105 already, so really this means it's uh, 3 times 5 times 7. So that means 3 divides b. So we want, need b to be largest multiple of both 5 and 3. So the largest multiple of 15 that is less than 105. Can't be 105, it's a multiple of 15. Uh, it's seven times 15. So what's the next? Well, you let B be 15 times six, which is 90. So let, let Beatrice do 90 throws and let Andrew do the remaining 15. So what's the number of successes? Uh, that's going to be three fifths times 90 plus one third times 15. And that's going to be uh, something plus 5. 90 over 5 is 18 multiplied by 3, 
is going to be uh, 54. So a total nine, a total of 59 uh, free throws are successful. That's the most that we could have. So 59 successes at most. Right. And that's what we want. We want them to be uh, highest number of successful free throws. And there we go. And now I can stop saying free throw, free throw, free throw. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway, uh, I will see you guys for uh, B2 in the next video. Until then, take care and have a wonderful day.